apologize. They closed in on him, two boys and one girl, silently, menacingly slow, with their hands deep inside the pockets of their jeans. The girl spoke first. It was him. She pointed an accusing finger at the boy. He kicked me purposely, I'm sure. He made me spill my lunch all over the place and ran away, leaving me to face the music. The boy stared at her, his face a mask of fear and concentration. He hadn't learnt much Dutch in the six months of his stay in Amsterdam, despite the special language classes for foreign students in the afternoons. His fists clenched and unclenched nervously as he desperately searched fit words. But all that came to him was a confused jumble of Iranian phrases. He backed away. His eyes darted around the empty schoolyard. Nobody was in sight, not even the housekeeper. Look here, you bully. The leader's words hit him like a lash, teasing the girls, eh? Come on, apologize. The boy drew back. Proud, eh? The other boy sneered. Too proud to apologize? Proud of what, you potato? He kicked the gravel, sending a hail of sharp pebbles flying at the boy. The boy stared at the children, bewildered. No, he murmured. No. Apologize, insisted the leader, jabbing his finger under the boy's chin. Come on. Apologize. The boy's lips quivered. Shielding his face with his hands, he retreated further. Apologize. The girl echoed with a cruel smirk. Apologize. Or is it against your pride? The boy didn't speak. Speak up. The leader struck the boy sharply on the shoulder. Apologize. Silence. Apologize. The boy didn't move. The next blow landed on his nose. It stung like a thousand needles. For a moment, he thought he would cry, but he didn't. He wiped his face with the back of his sleeve. Anger burnt in him, hot and explosive. That frightened him. Come on, one of them said. He's asking for it. They fell on him, pell-mell, punching him with knotted fists. Blows rained down on him, left, right, left. Hold it, stop it, a voice cracked like a whip. Strong hands grabbed the children by their collars and pulled them away. They stood there shifting uncomfortably, avoiding the eyes of the tall boy in the blue and yellow sweatshirt. What's going on here? thundered Jan van der Meer, the captain of the school's football team. Why have you picked on him? All of you? This is not the way to settle an argument. He looked sharply at the leader. Why were you thrashing him? He, 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 he stuttered the heavy boy. He, he, he doesn't want to apologize. You see, cried the girl. He hit me hard. The least he can do is apologize, but he will not. The tall lad turned to the Iranian boy, looking at him with the dark, serious eyes. Come on, boy, he said kindly. Reach out a hand and apologize. The boy didn't move. He stood there, thin and dense, his brows knitted, his lips quivered. Come on, urged Jan van der Meer. Be a sport, apologize to these wildcats. The dark eyes of the Iranian boy filled with misery. He swallowed hard. Come on, boy, why don't you? A dry sob broke from the boy's lips. No, no. Why not, for God's sake, why not? Because, the boy's voice rose. Because I not, no, apologize, I, I know. I no understand, apologize. I speak little Dutch, very little Dutch. Please forgive.